of his joy for all the world. Because the Lord is come, this Emmanuel, God with us. That we don't have to be afraid about our sins or our guilt because God has taken all of those things away. In our story, we hear this story this morning about people escaping danger. And throughout the world, there are places where people are facing impossible danger. And for whatever reason, are seeking safety. We just heard on the phone this morning with Barnett about these people. They're going into these giant refugee camps in South Sudan and setting up outreach centers for children in the middle of the camp. There are people who will live most of their life in that refugee camp, not in a safe home of their own, but in a tent, surrounded by everyone else who has been displaced. All over the world, we have people who want nothing more than to be safe at home. But home is no longer safe. And Jesus understands this. Because he experienced it too. That whatever thing we are facing that feels like it's not safe, God understands that place that we find ourselves. There are dangerous places all around us, and in the United States we have a pretty safe environment. We've got law and order. On our way to church this morning, there was a van that was disabled in the turn lane on 395, and we all went around it, and then I called 911, and Mom was like, oh no. Vivi says, what's wrong? Are we in trouble? I said, no, I'm going to get them some help, because I am not prepared to push a minivan off the highway. <laughs> I mean, I've got my boots on, but still, I have two kids in the car, but I'm going to get them somebody who can. Right? All you have to do is make a phone call and help will arrive. But that's not the case in a lot of places in the world. And so as we think about the whole world, I don't want you to walk away from this worship service feeling guilty for what you have. But I do want us to remember that what we have is not the only thing that's important in the world. That there are lots of people who are just as happy with a lot less. My friend experienced a terrible tragedy of the suicide of a very, very important person in her life just the week before Christmas. A young father who has everything going for him and a beautiful family. There are dangerous places even in our own minds and our own hearts right here at home. That God wants to come and be present in whatever that dangerous place we find ourselves. That God provided space and opportunity to save the lives of Mary and Joseph and Jesus. God provided money and resources to take care of their needs. Next week, it's a little bit backwards. The lectionary kind of flips you around. You get a little whiplash on this one. But next week, we'll hear about the story and the visit of the Magi and the gifts that they give. But that was an amazing opportunity for God to provide for this need that they didn't anticipate having. They would have to go to a safe place. God continues to provide for people fleeing crisis and danger. And sometimes he uses us to help provide for those needs. Friends, my question for us this morning as we spend some time in prayer, as we go around the room and pray for the world, I want you to think about how is God calling us to meet the needs of others? And maybe what do we need to let go of in order to have a broken heart for the broken people throughout the world? Let's pray. Lord God, I thank you that you understand anything and everything that we experience. I pray for the people who are fleeing danger and tragedy and crisis. And as we think about
about the rest of the world, may our hearts be broken because yours is. That we may be empowered and encouraged to make a difference in the lives of others. It's in the name of Jesus, our loving Savior, that we pray. Amen.